Hey there, YTPC, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Finally bringing you my 100 sub gall, or the giveaway that will be attached to celebrating my 100 subscriptions on YouTube. Uh, been meaning to do this for quite a while, just been busy with work and uh, had to take a couple of trips and get some things out of the way. Uh, also kind of changed some things just because of some recent things that came out that I wanted to, uh, that basically adjusted the giveaway a little bit. Um, that'll make more sense later, but, um, yeah, finally glad to be able to do this. Um, so I've been kind of searching around on Facebook and, uh, looking for sort of pipe and tobacco communities. And, and one of the ones that I came across just from some, some, I guess, searching was the, uh, the Philosophical Gentleman's Pipe Smoking Society. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys out there follow that group, but, you know, they, they tend to post, uh, pretty cool stuff about pipe smoking and, uh, it's sort of a very relaxed group, um, nice inclusive group. Uh, one of the admins there, John Offerdahl, he posted something recently and it struck a chord with me. And I asked him if I could, you know, read his post as sort of the preface to my giveaway because, again, I just, I really enjoyed it. And he said, that's perfectly fine. And, and I'll, uh, I'll give him a link to this video back on the, uh, back in the comments of that particular post. But I don't know where this, the details are on how this post originated, but I guess perhaps there was a kerfuffle in the group and some people were, uh, debating some particular topic, but, Anyway, is a pipe smoker more legitimate owning one or two pipes which are well-loved and well-smoked, or is it the smoker with a vast collection? Is a pipe smoker who lives from 10 to 10 the true piper, or is it the person with a lifetime supply of tins in the cellar? Can someone call themselves a pipe smoker if they only smoke, say, once or twice a month, or does the true pipe smoker seem to always have one lit? And hanging from his mouth. I'm going to posit a different. I'm going to posit a different approach. A pipe smoker is someone who enjoys smoking a pipe. There is no hierarchy. There is no caste system. By smoking a Costello or Dunhill, I am no more legitimate than my friend sitting next to me puffing on a basket pipe. What's in my cellar doesn't fill my soul, though I can allow my soul to share my cellar with those with less. Likewise, a person who dropped out of high school may be more intelligent and even more intellectually aware than a person with a PhD. It is our internal approach, our thoughts and perceptions, which artificially create external attitudes. We unite here for a common interest. Let's celebrate the unity. We all love our pipes, cigars, and in general, the pleasures of tobacco. This provides us a delightful platform to share other interests. Please remember, though, that it is for this shared interest that we initially come together in this group. Obviously, topics outside the main, the realm of mother tobacco are fair game here, just as they are in any setting, but other members of this group are never fair game for any of us. The first guideline of this group reads, please do not be rude, condescending, or otherwise belittling of another member. It's fine to disagree and even and evenly discuss a disagreement, but it's never okay to be rude. It's fine to disagree and to discuss this disagreement. It's never acceptable to belittle or debase another simply because their education, lifestyle, smoking experience, or any other factor may differ from one's, from one's own. Consider a social gathering. If two people get into a fight, it ruins the party for everyone. We are gentle folk here. Respect comes before pride. And again, when I first read that, I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I agree with every single bit of that. So again, the, uh, the exchange between myself and John, uh, ensued. And, um, I, I think, I, I think I'm happy to read that as, as, as the intro to my, to my goal. So to the important stuff, 
so you can figure out if you want to stick around and see how to win. Um, so the actual giveaway itself. So I will be including, so there's two winners just to be, just to be clear, there's going to be two winners and the two prizes are basically going to be equal from a value standpoint, at least. However, the first name I draw is going to have more choice because they're going to, they're going to be able to pick their choice of the options, uh, that are, that are going to be put forth. Um, but both winners will receive this, um, this nice little bamboo tamper with the, uh, with the air holes that allow you to, uh, to puff while you're tamping and then keep a good, uh, good light going. I, I love this tamper. I have uh, I have this myself, and I have a similar version that's got the air holes from the same maker. That's got a little bit more of a more of an ornate finish to it. It's not bamboo. It's it's solid wood, and it's got a you know a, a metal scooper. But again, you have the the top there that can be used to scoop and clean your bowl out. So both winners will receive one of these, and I'm pretty sure this is the one that uh, Artful Codger Ben um, also recommended, and the pipe so i'm just going to show you guys this so one of the pipes at least so this is a uh a recent release from rossi this is their rubino antico line and this is a uh this is a 122 shape which is you know nice little pot shape i have a 122 of my own it's a uh it's a military mount spigot and uh, I love that pipe. Um, so yeah, to, to step back a bit, this giveaway basically is reflective of um, things that bring me joy in pipe smoking so far. I'm a very new pipe smoker, less than a year, but, um, but yeah, really love this pipe. And just to note, this and the other pipe that I'm giving away have a six millimeter uh, filter or adapter. So they work with the balsa system and please let me know if you want extra six millimeter balsa filters. I don't use them. And if you want them, I'll ship them along with, with the, uh, with the pipe itself. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to ship these in the box. They came in all nice and wrapped up because these are, these are brand new pipes. I just, I just ordered these off of uh, smoking pipes and the other pipe is same line. Rossi Rubino Antico, and this is a 111. So, you know, you guys have probably heard me say before, the um, my Savinelli Trevi 111 King size, probably the first, you know, really good smoke I ever had. So I definitely wanted to include a 111 in my giveaway. And man, these 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 new Rossies, they are stunning. It's a beautiful grain on there and I love the finishing they're smooth um, yeah these are these are really really nice looking pipes now this 122 does have some fills I'm not gonna not gonna lie to you there but I don't have any doubt this thing's gonna smoke fantastically so that's the that's the two pipes so again you know one winner is gonna obviously win the tamper the first winner is going to get their choice of the 111 king size or the 122. I think this is a king size. I looked at the dimensions. It's pretty much the same as, as my 111 KS. So it's a, it's a nice big bowl. Nice, definitely over three quarters on the, uh, on the ID there. Same for the, uh, the 122, not as deep on the 122, but still, a still a nice bowl size. Um, and to wrap that, to wrap that up, the next thing that that will be part of the winnings is I'm going to in the in the uh, description of this video I'm going to post a list of tobaccos that I have, and that person will have a choice. The winners will have a choice of two of those blends, um, and basically what I'm going to commit to is a a healthy sample of of each of the two they pick. Um, I, I I can't give you a no weight declaration because a lot of the stuff I have is, is already in jars. So I'm going to have to extract it from the jars, but basically a healthy sample of that tobacco, probably in the, you know, one and a half to two ounce range at least. And I'll bet double bag that 
in uh, in the in the fr in some thick freezer bags that I have and uh, and send that along with the uh, sample as well. And again, the first you know the first winner will have their pick of 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 the two that they choose, and then the second winner will um, have their pick of two. And you, to be honest, like I, I don't see the first winner you know, needing to control that. Like if, if the second winner wants the same ones, uh, I think I should be able to accommodate that, but we can have that conversation if it, if it happens that for whatever reason, maybe I don't have enough to fulfill. And I do, please do pick two separate blends, not two of the same. Uh, and I will mention one of the options you'll have to choose from is the, uh, recent release of the smoking pipes 20th anniversary uh, flake. So that'll be on the list. If you want, um, I'll send, basically I'll send you a tin of this an unopened tin. If that, if that's one of your choices. Um, yeah. And I have, I have three tins. So if, if you guys, you know, each want the same, I'll, I'll send them to you because I have one left over for myself or I'll order more, whatever. That's fine. Um, so that's, that's included along, you know, with a bunch of other tobaccos that you can, that you can take a look at in the description. So that's with the shipping thing, um, complexity, taxes, blah, blah, blah. Basically that's that set of prizes. I would probably limit to, um, us residents and for Europe or, other parts of the world. I don't know if I have subscribers that, that, that live in other parts of the world, but what I would, what I probably envision doing is to not have to ship these things overseas because that could be quite expensive on the scenario. But what I envision potentially doing is if it's, if I have an overseas winner to allow them to, um, basically build a cart on the website that they like to order things from, uh, up to a $60 value. And what I can, or they can tell me what they want from that site. I'll, I'll order everything and, and process the payment, but then just have it shipped to that person. If that, if that makes sense. I, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Uh, I've obviously not tried this, but I don't see why that wouldn't, uh, that, that I wouldn't be allowed to do that. Um, cause I have ordered from like Smoke King and, um, other, um, foreign sites before. So I don't see why I would, why they would care where you're shipping it as long as they get their money. So, so yeah, we'll do that for a, for an overseas winner or two. Um, what else? Oh, to win. <laughs> so again, you have to be of legal smoking age, wherever you live. Uh, you have to be a subscriber of mine and one entry, just comment. I'm in, uh, if you want three entries, what I'd like you to do is, uh, is do a video response and make a video. And I would like to, I, one thing I want to do more of in my life is travel. I love to travel. I wish I did more of it. It's obviously expensive depending on the circumstances, but I, but I really am interested in travel. I'm interested in geography. Um, so what I'd like you to do is make me a VR and tell me what's your favorite sort of vacation travel destination, or just in general, what's your favorite place on earth? What, what, what's your physical happy place that actually exists that you can leave your home, go to, and you know, you're at ease and, and you just, and you absolutely love it. You know, if you could live there, you would, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'd like to see. Um, took some notes. Just want to make sure I've covered everything. So, to, so again, to recap the tamper pipe, uh, and uh, two samples of tobacco from the list that's in the description of the video. Um, and I think that should do it. I don't think I forgot anything. I'll rewatch this before I post it, but, uh, anywho, take care guys. And thanks so much for the subscriptions and, uh, talk to you later.